go fill the book questers, it is I, Aaron the book quester. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty, oh, okay, good to read book. Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woods, with a lot of prizes and tags on it. A mama's choice. So this book is, uh, is about a brown girl dreaming. Um, the main character is Jacqueline Woodson, and the author is Jacqueline Woodson, so it's an autograph, autography. So, she wrote about her childhood. Um, uh, her, her parents divorced, and, uh, and, uh, with a lot, with lots of siblings, she had to move to Greenville, her ma, her mom's old home, uh, with grandma and grandpa. And it was really warm, and they had a really good health of a childhood there. Then they had to move to New York, where Mama got a job. And but there, they were told that New York sidewalks were littered with diamonds. They were told that money rained from the sky. They were told it smelled like wet grass and pine, the perfect forest to smell. But no, it was a city, the sidewalks made out of dried cement, and it rained, heavy rain, dreadful rain, that they could not go outside and play. No, it did not rain money. The sidewalks were not made out of diamond. So yeah, it was like that. And she, she was constantly fighting an urge to move against racism. Like for example, going into an all white, all white, um, restaurant and daring anyone to make her move or something like that. You know, that's the protesting, protesting, yeah. And she wants to, but she doesn't. And it's all in the events of when, of when racism was happening. And the book itself is kind of. Uh, many of the chap, some of the chapters are poems, and it's, and as you can see, it's not a normal chapter book full of um, words book. It's more like a resty old time book. Yeah. A few chapters like these have three words: how to listen number two. There's how to listen number one, number two, number three, number four, and five. I'm not sure what they mean, but that's for you to find out, I guess, to read it and find out. And Jacqueline, with her bro, with her siblings, is at New York, and there, there, she is first told that she is a writer. She had written a poem, a wonderful poem, and the teacher said she was a writer. And from then on, she made little booklets, like butterflies, full of poems. And as we can see now, she had wrote a book that had one, two, three prizes. And I guess that's, that's one big step from a brown girl dreaming and an accomplished author. And it's a really good book to read. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester.